Francisco morning coming clear and cold. Welcome back, everybody. The PM Show with Mr. Robert Conrad in full effect. And right now, you're listening to the voice of Denise Donatello. Excellent, uh, excellent voice, excellent music, and uh, glad that uh, the the music director, Tomas, was able to put this together Oh, for Tomas, yeah. I love the music. I love that kind of Latin background. Hey, you know what I want you to do? I want you to find more Mari Soul. She was the number one actress in uh, uh, all of uh, Spain. And now she's retired, and her three children are out there. They're in their 20s, and they're all successful actresses. And, of course, you know, I starred in that movie with her. Uh, I'd like you to play that today if you could. And now, hey, Jeff, what's up, bro? We've been talking. Uh, everything good with you? Yeah, we were, we were talking about Steve McQueen. Uh, I just wondered, was he a badass in real life? I mean, was he, was he pretty tough? Yeah, he was. Uh, he, he, he was tough. And... Um, I was very impressed that he made that remark to uh, his son. But he, with me, he was polite, and uh, and I liked him, and I, I liked his work as an actor. I, I really thought he was a, a wonderful actor. And I'm so sorry he died so young. I know. I loved him, too. Uh, uh, what about Bruce Lee? Did you hook up with him at all when he was out there? No, I didn't hook up. I knew him. I knew Bruce. But uh, we were never, you know, uh, buddies or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, I knew Bruce. Because there's always this, you know, debate over whether he was a great fighter in real life, you know, compared to someone like Chuck Norris. Who, Bruce? Have any opinion? Yeah. Yeah, Bruce was good. You know, the only problem Bruce had with me was I started karate before he did. And he always was kind of nervous about that because I was there first. And uh, Chuck Norris is, you know, he's, he, he's the real deal. He is the real deal. Right. All right, man. Well, I love you. Take care of yourself, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Good. Thank you. Keep calling, and, uh, you, you know, you're a part of the show, which I love. Thanks a lot, Jeff. You're the man, Jeff. Thanks for calling, buddy. Okay. Now let's do a email, and then we'll talk yeah. to Barry. Hey, they're calling now. They're ah, calling ah, in, buddy. Ah. This is from Nick Ziegler. Hey, my name is Nick Ziegler. My father was attached to VMF 222 during WW2. Uh, decided to start a Facebook group, and uh, his father was a big fan of Baba Black Sheep, as am I. To help our site, would you be able to sign a photo and get it to the site? You know what, Nick, we'll work something out for you. Yeah, if you get the photos to me, but, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll I quit signing out. photos because it got overwhelming. He's out there in Lancaster, California, yeah, where they test all those rockets. Yeah, if oh, rockets his, out there. his father was uh, an exception to the fact. Okay, now uh, let me say uh, to Barry in Baltimore. Barry, what's up, bro? Barry, how you doing, buddy? How's doing? We're doing all right. Thank you. Good. Hey, I was wondering um, um, if you ever had a problem with uh, TV shows that would run for you know several years at a time, and sometimes the TV shows would use the same actor or actress in several different roles throughout the run of the show. Did you ever find that that impacted negatively on the believability of the show itself? No, I never paid attention to that. I'd come to work, know my lines, be the director, and do my work. Hmm. All right? Well, uh, it was just, just an interesting thought. I mean, I, for example, uh, I know like Hawaii Five though, they used um, Simon Oakland at least three times in three different roles, and he was a great actor, of course, but... Um, and they did that with several other actors as well. So I always thought that was, I mean, from a viewer standpoint, maybe a little disconcerting, and it maybe it negatively impacted on the believability of the uh, of the presentation, but maybe I'm just being uh, too much of a stickler in that regard. Yeah, you are. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, just let hey, it go. When, um, Simon Oakley was a wonderful actor. Just let it go. Go ahead. Sure. Well, I, I, I thought in, in terms of... Uh, him being General Moore in uh, Black Sheep Squadron. I mean, it was just tremendously believable. Tremendously believable. Um, Hell, I believe him. <laughs> what was he like uh, Like uh, behind the scenes? Uh, he was personally? rough. He was really? rough. Yeah, he was rough. Huh. Yeah. Hard to get along with? No, or, he was or just the... who he p played in the... As a matter of fact, I was working at the startups in Las Vegas, and he came there, and they were booked, and he didn't have a room. And fortunately, I had worked there, 
And I said, I want this guy to have a room. And they said, well, all I've got the, is the presidential suite. And I said, give it to him. And uh, they did. And he was thrilled with that. He said, Conrad, I can't believe you got the presidential suite for me. I said, I can't believe it either, General. <laughs> what was up? Uh, is that the music? Yeah, yeah. hang in there, buddy. That's an awesome story, Bob. Uh, Barry from Baltimore, good man for calling in. Thank you. Bill, hang in there. Patty, Shelly, the lines Did are full. Did you say goodbye to Barry? No, I, I think, are we keeping Barry over? No, I think he had another question. Yeah, hang in there, Barry. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, all right. All right we'll be back. Yeah, we'll say goodbye to Barry, and then we'll go to, to Bill, uh, who uh, I just read. Yeah, we'll be back.